Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. Today I'm in Hoffman, North Carolina. I'm about two miles north of Hoffman um, in a manufactured home development. We have 13 lots to be sold at absolute auction. Uh, we're not going to sell them individually. We're going to sell them all for one bid. So you'll end up with 13 lots. I can see somebody coming out here uh, possibly putting in some um, new units or maybe uh, bring some used ones out here, set them up, rent them, rent the lots, or set them up and sell them with financing, uh, all kind of ways. Um, I'm going to check in a few things about the roads, but I see there's city water out here, there's a fire hydrant, uh, a couple of lots probably uh, have some improvements on them other than just a lot. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take a quick spin around and uh, look at these lots. My windshield's a little dirty. I'll do the best I can with it. But you come out and look at them. Bring your map when you come so you can identify the lots. I'll try to put a little sign on each one of them. All right, as you come off Highway 1, you'll be on Linder Lane, and then you turn left on Barbara. I don't know who's responsible for grading these roads. I'm gonna look and see if there's a homeowner association. I highly doubt it, but I'll try to see if one's recorded. But you can check on that yourself. Uh, I don't know who's really responsible at all. We will look it up. All right, turn right on George Circle. And if you have your map in your hand, you'll see here's our first three lots on your uh, right. And also, look down to the left, and we have two lots there, but we'll come back to those. What I saw uh, down here as I was coming along, I see the phone in, I see the power in, may even be some cable, I'm not sure. I've seen water meters and I've seen a fire hydrant, but this lot down in the corner looks like there was possibly a structure there and so probably you're going to find out uh, some of your amenities are in. I see some shrubs and all and I see some pipes sticking up so that one's probably has septic or whatever type of sewer they have here, electrical connection, all that's probably there. Alright then we have uh, two more lots here according to my tax map then we'll skip one where this house is and then we'll have two more lots but we have two right here between these not bad lots are pretty level and all and you need to get out here and walk on them I'm not gonna walk on this 20 degrees this morning and uh, you may find some improvements. All right, it looks like this home is on two lots And then that next lot in our corner is ours Listen on this lot. I see evidence of uh, tie downs and a little bit of conduit. So there probably Was a um, trailer on it. So uh, everything should be there for uh, you know to bring a new one in I mean, it's pretty good when you don't have to start from scratch. Now, I'm not going to get out and look. You come look yourself. I'm just giving you an idea of things to look for. All right. Uh, we're going to turn left on Barbara Drive again. Um, this corner lot's ours. And we'll skip one. And then when we just when we first started, I told you there were two. And here they are. There's two more right here. We're back up here to the beginning. So we've looked at 12 lots. Barbara's that main road that goes out. All right, and then we're back on uh, Joyce Circle, and. If I were to turn left right here, we would, we would leave and go back out to one. But we're going to come around the circle. 
I know this road's a little bumpy and the video might be a little shaky, but that's the way it is. We have one more lot. It has an abandoned mobile home. Now the uh, owner of this property that I'm selling told me he thought that might be involved in some kind of an estate, abandoned uh, in an estate, but there may be some way of uh, getting title, charging storage. I don't know what the rules and the laws are, but you might end up with a mobile home there, so that would be pretty nice. Uh, all right, they're all selling for one bid. So let's wrap it up. Uh, cash deal, absolute auction. Okay, that's going to uh, end up our tour here in Hoffman, North Carolina. Um, I think there's opportunity here to make some money. I know I financed some trailers for a man that uh, put them in a trailer park, and he did right well. I don't know what the going rate here is, but he was getting 500 a month, and he hardly ever had over 12 or 15 thousand dollars in a trailer, so he did real good with his. I think there's probably a market here uh, to fill up the rest of these spaces. You need to check it out uh, to your satisfaction. All right, just a couple of tips before I leave. One, before you bid, read the contract package. Look through the terms, and uh, these are the documents you're going to sign. They're also um, tells you about the deposit, the closing, the closing costs, attorney fees, all those things are in there. If you're not sure about something, you have some questions, need clarification, give us a call. Our number's at the bottom of the screen. We're there to help. We want this transaction to go real smooth, and we want it to close, we want it to close on time. If you're a first-time bidder, bid early in the process. Make sure your bidder number works. Wait until the last two or three minutes, try to register, and you put the information in wrong, there's nothing I can do to help you. But early on, I can, I can fix it and tell you what's wrong, what you might have put in wrong. And make sure you have the money. This is a cash transaction. It's not subject to uh, financing by anybody. And I doubt you can probably get financing on these lots. You'll have to have cash. All right, one last time. Nobody's going to be here at the premises. Come out and look at these lots on your own. No bidding will take place here. It's all on the Internet. And the place to bid and buy is terryhow.com. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it will encourage you to come out and look at this property.